Hi, what's up? I'm gonna do something super fun, super exciting. I'm going to Half Price Books. Clap if you care. All right, let's move on. Perfect. Anyway, I have a books to buy list that is like, I think there's like 30 some books on it. A number that is astronomical and insane for someone like me to be attempting to buy all of because it took me literally a month to finish the last book I was reading. <laughs> yeah, so like that's awesome. But anyway, I'm going into half price books right now and I'm gonna look for some of the books that are on my list and then obviously I'll do a haul. And I reorganized two shelves on my shelf in my bedroom, all my notebooks and my books that I'm reading. And so I'll show you that when I get home and the books that I got. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> bye. I fucking love my life. Honestly, disappointed. Devastated, if you will. Selection at Half Price Books was tragic, awful. So I ended up going to Target too. I did get some things at Half Price Books, but only like two things on my list, of which there were 30 things. The yellow wallpaper. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this. This was a suggested read from one of my friends. And then I got A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. Um, I mostly got this because I have his other book and I like it and I'm trying to write my own book in kind of this format, this style. So it's kind of a research book for my book. Anyway, I got the picture of Dorian Gray and I paid $2 extra for this copy because they had like 17 copies for like $3, but the cover was so ugly that I could not. So I spent the extra $3 or $2 to get this one that actually looks decent. Um, and then I got Cersei, which is really popular right now. Um, it's a retelling of the Odyssey from the pers perspective of Cersei and I think like an origin uh, story for her. And I have the Song of Achilles and I'm gonna read that too. So I'll probably read those close together to try and have some like <laughs> awesome brain moment, big brain energy moment, I don't even know. Um, and then I got the Midnight Library, which I heard about a long time ago. Again, a friend recommended it to me. I have such great friends. <laughs> But um, I don't know what this is about. I have no idea what this is about. Literally no idea. So that's what I got. And then this book that I got days ago is what I'm going to start reading today. It is obviously The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. One of the most popular books right now. One of the biggest topics on book talk, YouTube, all of it. Everyone's talking about this book. And I'm very excited. I am very excited to read it. But um check back next video and I'll probably give an update on if it's good or not, but I'm guessing it will be good because if it's not good, then literally I feel like the entire world has lied to me. Tell me what book you're reading in the comments. Okay, bye. Hi, um, we're having tacos for dinner, so I decided that I wanted chipotle rice. I'm gonna make it, and I'm kind of making up a recipe because Ratatouille said anyone can cook, so I'm just gonna make it up. But um, yeah, there's rice in a pot cooking, and now I'm gonna make a little sauce. Um, I looked up recipes online. I was hoping that a disgruntled employee or someone that got fired would have just put the recipe online because I feel like that should have happened, but I didn't find one. So I'm just kind of making it up, but I'm gonna use, I'm using lemon and lime, which my mom thought was weird. I've already accepted that it's not gonna be as good as the one from Chipotle, but why is Rocco sitting there? Do you see him? He's right there. That's him. Why is he doing that? That is him. That little black Rocco. Oh, he got up. I made you get up. Yay, <laughs> so cute. Have you guys ever seen <laughs> Beat Bobby Flay? And it's just a show where a bunch of 
B-list chefs go on and try and beat Bobby Flay at cooking. But they have all these celebrity guests on it, and Maria Menounos was a guest on it. It was amazing because Maria Menounos is one of my favorite celebrities. You probably know her from at the beginning of movies. They do the pre-roll, and she is the host of it. And that... As far as I know, that's all she's ever done in her career. So when I saw her on that television show, I lost my mind because I didn't think she existed outside of the movie theater. Wait, am I actually gonna measure it or am I just gonna... I think I'm just gonna use half, why not? Well, I have 30 minutes to make one tiny bowl of sauce. So <laughs> we're gonna go really, really slow. I didn't measure. <laughs> I decided that was irrelevant. The only other thing I was gonna add was, this is just literally lemon juice and lime juice and I was gonna add honey. Cause in my mind that makes sense. She thinks that's weird. I feel like it makes sense. Like, I feel like they use honey at Chipotle, like a little bit. So I'm gonna add some. I wanna add garlic. Okay, the rice is done now. I don't know if it turned out or not because I opened the lid and when I put it back on, I didn't close it all the way and all the steam got out. So, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna mix it now. Ready? Super exciting. Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't know how much better it could have gotten after one half a lime. <laughs> Wait, it's actually it's actually a lot better. Not even I'm not even kidding, yeah. That actually okay. Use a whole lime. Anyway. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's been a few days since the last clip. Um, I was in another nice little depressive episode for a little bit and the thought of doing anything just was unappealing. But um, I'm feeling a lot better right now. So I wanted to talk to you about books, more books. More books, which is a problem because I'm spending a lot of money on books and not reading them. <laughs> I'm sure everyone has been there. But anyway, I went to Half Price Books to look for some books for my friends for their birthday present and they had them. And then I, for some reason, was like, well, I'm gonna look on Amazon. And when I looked, they were cheaper. They were cheaper. They were cheaper on Amazon than they were at Half Price Books and they're new on Amazon. And it made me sad, <laughs> it really did. It, it honestly made me sad because I want to go to Half Price Books. I wanna to go to Half Price Books and I wanna find books and I wanna buy them at Half Price. But if they're not even the cheapest at Half Price Books, then why would, why would I do that? So, I bought books for my friends but I also bought four books for myself that were on my list that I couldn't find at Half Price Books. So, um, I bought The Night Circus. Oh, whoa! Uh, super popular book right now. Um, recommended to me by a friend. She gave me a little synopsis and I was like, sounds awesome. Um, but I'm really excited to read that one, like a little magical romance type thing. And then I got Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is, I think this is pretty popular. I've heard about it a couple times, um, but it got recommended in like a book recommendation video. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be super like YA. YA. I can't stand like YA romance. I can't stand it. They, they both die at the end. I could not finish that book. The writing was so bad. Uh, and then I also got, okay, I got A Room with a View by um, E.M. Forrester, which this is like old. I, <laughs> but, um, it was originally published in 1908. So it's like over a hundred years old. I, I uh, again, I heard about it on a reading channel and it was recommended to someone for a similar reading experience as Call Me By Your Name, which is one of my favorite books because of the way that it's written. The book and the movie are so good because they take you captive into their environment and into their world. And so when I heard that this was written similarly to that and it felt like the same reading experience, you best believe I'm all over that. Um, and then lastly, I got another old classic. I guess I was just in the mood to get some old books, but um, I got Phantom of the Opera 
I've never read this before. The musical is fantastic. Fan of the Opera is one of my favorites. I'm so excited to read the book and see what the real story is like. That's my book haul. I seriously, I still have like 25 books on my like want to buy list. Respectfully, I cannot. Respectfully, I cannot buy any more books. I cannot. So if you see me on the internet buying more books, please beat me up. I can't, I cannot do it. I have so many unread books right now. I can't buy any more. I can't. All that to say, um, yeah, what is all that to say? I don't know. I don't know. This is the end. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next. I hate outros. Can we just, can we cancel outros, please? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>